In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning, Calimera. Good morning. The Lord in this Sunday's Gospel teaches, for truly I say to you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move hence to yonder place, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. This Gospel lesson speaks of the great power of faith. Therefore, it is appropriate that we define faith. What is faith? Well, many clergymen have tried to define faith, and some of them use a little humor. There was one clergyman's definition was comparing the differences between fact and faith in a sermon. And he said that you are sitting before me in this church is a fact. That I am standing speaking from the pulpit is a fact. But it is only faith that makes me believe anyone is hearing me. Another pastor looked at his congregation one Sunday and said with a cliché, I see you are back to have your faith lifted. Well, to further define faith, we need to begin with a few examples of what faith is not. Now here in the Midwest, when a storm is approaching, we are told to take shelter in a basement, in a low-lying area, but in this basement. Well, faith is not a basement to which we flee for refuge from the storms of life. It is a spiritual fortress which gives us the strength to confront those storms and their consequences with calmness and serenity of spirit. In the greatest stress, faith has the extraordinary power to lift us to greatness. Faith is not to trust in yourself which oftentimes is doomed to disappointment, is not to trust in your friends who one day may leave you. It is not to trust in money, which may one day be taken away from you. It is not to trust in reputation, which slander may easily destroy. Faith is trust in God, who never leaves you, forsakes you. On this earth, or in eternity. Faith is laying all your burdens on the Lord. There are numerous meaningful definitions about faith. Here are some. Faith is man's response to the promises and possibilities of God. Faith is nurtured. It grows by prayer, worship, and the study of the scriptures. St. John writes, This is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Faith is bowing down to that which it reveals. Faith is to say with strong conviction that you believe. Faith is not just to believe in the existence of God, but to put yourself in his embrace, to be aware that he cares. Faith receives that which God gives, not that it is deserved, but that it is a gift of his grace. Faith is the assurance that God has a plan for his righteousness in your life. Although the world challenges you with darkness and evil and sin and wickedness. And finally, faith is a leap, a jump, a plunge, not into the black void, but into the embrace of him who loves you and gave himself for you. Not so long ago, there was a handful, a small handful of people who took a leap, a jump, into the embrace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I witnessed this. They needed a church, a house of worship, a place where they could come and glorify God. It seemed that 
there were mountains before them and nothing was possible for them. But they had faith in the gospel lesson of today. When the Lord said, have faith as small as a grain of mustard seed and nothing will be, you will move mountains and nothing will be impossible to you. Those people came to a crossroads and there they saw a small mountain. You could call it a hill, but nonetheless, to them it was a mountain. They needed to move that mountain, both literally and figuratively. They prayed, and with faith, as small as a mustard seed, that mountain moved and became the chapel of St. Nectarius Church. Small as it was, the impossible became possible. And many said, you will not progress from that point because back then there was nothing out here. In fact, Bishop Yakovus said to us then, His Grace, who has left this world, Bishop Yakovus said to us, Where have you gone? Out here there's nothing but sheep. And there really weren't sheep, there were a few horses here and there. But that handful of people took that small building small as perhaps a grain of mustard seed compared to the large churches of today, they moved the mountain and they came to here, to this beautiful new edifice of St. Nectarius Church with its beautiful community center and ultimately with its gymnasium. Those people are an example to all of us. When the Lord speaks to us and says, if you have faith, as small as a mustard seed, you can move mountains and nothing will be impossible to you. Look at the mountains that you have in your life. Look at the challenges that you need to climb and to overcome. Have faith, although it may be the size of a mustard seed. Believe in God, who so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that whoever believes in him might not perish, but have life everlasting. Then you too may move mountains. Amen.